Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and today is a very special day because the beta from Mid Journey is finally back. That's right, after almost a week, the beta from Mid Journey is finally back, and you can use it as much as you want for the next 24 to 48 hours. And you can see here already the, the newest creation from the community using this new iteration of the algorithm. It's absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this absolutely amazing Joker. I mean, you can clearly see that there is a huge difference between the old and the newest version. Now, as I said, keep in mind that this is only for the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, unless there is a problem or if the Mid Journey team decides to put it early, but otherwise it should stay active for the next 24 to 48 hours. Now a few things to note, um, it's a little bit different compared to the last beta version that we get, because we don't have one single mode, this time we have two different modes. Um, the first one is a general purpose artistic mode that you can use by typing test, and the other mode is a photorealism mode that you can use by typing test P. And you can also toggle these settings in the slash settings panel. Now one thing that they also added back is the creative mode. By typing simply creative, you allow the AI to be a little bit more creative, to be a little bit more free for your creation. And finally, they also enable the stylization back then you can activate by typing stylize and inputting a number between 1250 to a maximum of 5000 the default being the 2500. Now I played around with the new beta version and I did some tests and the results of the test are pretty conclusive in the sense that yes, it is pretty much the same as the other beta version that we got uh, around a week ago, um, in the sense that yes, it is better at creating faces, it is basically more precise, but the problem is that the new AI version is a little bit less creative than the uh, original ones. So to illustrate this, I used the same prompt on the three different versions. I used the following prompt, magician turns into a paper on stage, explosion of colorful dust. Um, and the first version I used is the test P, that should basically give you a more photorealistic image. And as you can see here, and it did it almost look Looks like a photo of like some sort of magician playing with some explosion of colorful dust. But overall, a very classic image, doesn't really have a lot of creative style, it's very, very simple. The second type is supposed to be a little bit more creative uh, by still being a little bit more precise. And indeed, you can see here that with the same exact prompt, you get a very different image, uh, a little bit more creative, a little bit more original. Um, a little bit less photorealistic, but still pretty real nonetheless. Some exposure of colors here and there, but still a little bit classic. And you can see here with the old version that is basically less precise, but way more creative, you get four images that are absolutely amazing, that are extremely, extremely creative, extremely original, that really looks like some sort of uh, strange, dreamy painting created by a famous artist. Um, I also created some upscale version of these pictures, so you can see like the final results. And they look kind of weird, but creatively speaking, uh, they are they look a little bit better. They look more they look more original than the ones used than the ones created in the newer version of the AI. So this is something that you should keep in mind. Um, yes, it's more precise. Yes, you get uh, better faces. Um, it's a little bit more photorealistic, but the end result is a little bit more classic, is a little less creative than if you were to use the uh, normal version of Mid Journey. So if you want to activate and play around with the new version of the AI, all you have to do is just type slash settings, press enter, and you're gonna see here all the different versions of the script uh, currently, I'm using the MJ version 3, which is the one used to create the very artistic uh, image that you can see above. 
uh, then you can if you press here you're gonna be using the uh, creative new test version of the script and by clicking here you're gonna be using the MJ test photorealistic version which is supposed to give you a more photorealistic style for your images so it really depends on the type of image that you want to create and the prompt that you're gonna use so there you have it folks uh, if you have access to mid journey play around with the new AI version just create new stuff and let me know what you think about the new version in the comments down below. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.